Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing some glam and chatting a little bit. So, that's what I'm doing. I haven't really done glam in a long time. Felt a little bit melancholy today, so it's only 9-11 right now. And yeah. So yeah, enjoy watching me do a full face of glam. Hey guys. I feel like the only way that I can really, truly make myself feel a little bit better today is by doing a little bit of glam. And I haven't done that in a long time. It's going to be a better day today. I've got to get myself through it. Last night, Hudson was throwing up all through the night and Hallie kept waking up. She's been having on and off fevers and... I am dealing with my stuff, so I'm in pain, and yeah, so I feel like the only way that I can kind of get through my day is with a little bit of makeup to make myself feel a little bit put together. I feel like I always feel worse if I don't get myself ready. I feel like I would have felt better if I could have walked this morning, but I can't drag Hudson along too because I already called his school this morning. And that was a whole thing. So, okay, I'm putting this on just my nose and my highlights. This is the Becca Ignite. This is my favorite product ever. I don't think I'll ever like not have something like that. A little goes a long way. Like I literally just put like a drip on my finger and it takes me like a year and a half to get through. Like seriously. And I just do this, put it on the bridge of my nose. And this just goes underneath. But I also like to wear this if I'm just doing like a beach day. And then I'll put some like, um, whatever you call it right there. And yeah, um, also I'm kind of breaking out. I don't know why, probably stress. Probably stress. That's what happens when I'm in pain. I already moisturized my face. I should have done my eyebrows off camera. I probably will. But, um... I'm going to go all out. We're going to do the whole shebang today. And I'm not going to be using my normal It Cosmetics um, light weight CC cream. We're going to be using the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Super light for my skin. So we're going to be doing lots and lots of bronzing. But that's okay. I really wanted to do like a full makeup look today. So, and I'm gonna do like lashes. Like I got my big lashes out. Court's gonna come home from work and be like, what in the hell is going on? Okay, this might be a little bit light. Ugh, mm, we can work with it. We'll bronze, we'll bronze a lot. Um, I like this foundation a lot, like when I'm pale. I don't think I can make this work. <laughs> I'm like not pale at all right now. I'm pretty tan. That looks like crazy. Um, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Okay. So we're going to look like a ghost right now until it gets on. <laughs> um, hopefully I can make myself feel better today. I'll have to make like a full in-depth video about all of my crap that I keep talking about. Um, but for right now, I'm just kind of trying to get through life and be a mom and be a wife. And yeah. And I typically don't like to wear like tons of makeup when I'm here, especially if I'm like outside with the kids. I just don't like that feeling of tons of makeup on me. Okay, I'm going to start the bronzing process before I do my under eye concealer. I'm just using my Tristique bronzing stick. And we're just going to do a lot. So here we go. I honestly, I never use this. I do on like special occasions and that's, that's about it. I'm just going to use the side of it to blend it all out because I don't want to ruin where I'm going to be doing the concealer. <laughs> I 
Makes me feel a little bit better. Okay, I'm gonna actually conceal now underneath my eyes. So yeah. Um, I, what else? This isn't really like a get ready with me. I, get, I mean, it is a get ready with me, but I'm not gonna like chat tons. Um, it's mostly just to make me feel better. And I haven't posted content in a little bit. Let's see. I feel like the rest of my face is good. I just don't want to like lather too much on. So. That was the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I love this concealer. It's lightweight, but I feel like it's like medium coverage. And I feel like I never really get any creasing. I'm gonna actually drag some onto my eyelid too, just because I'm gonna be doing some eyeshadow and I normally don't do eyeshadow or too much eyeshadow at least. We'll see how this video turns out. Let's see if I can still do makeup. <laughs> just kidding. Um. I'm gonna set all of that. I'm gonna first set my under eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Fair Claire. I always talk about this stuff, but I'm just gonna set my under eyes first so they don't crease. I'm gonna let that sit while I do my eyeshadow. Okay, boom, letting that sit. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit right there so it's not too dewy. Okay, eyes. I brought a couple eyeshadow palettes out that I want to use. I brought my BoxyCharm Pure, Pur, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I'm thinking just like that shade, those three right there, and maybe a little bit of that guy. I like this one a lot. And then I've got my Hello, you had me at Hello Color Pop, which kind of has the same like shades. I think I might do the Boxy Charm one, but I can't decide. So for now, I'm just going to, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use the Hello by Color Pop, this one, because it's got more like neutral. And it has. Ooh, I have not used this in probably a year, but I'm gonna do action. Um, can't decide on what kind of an eye. I think I'm just gonna do like a soft, smoky. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that shade. I used that one to do my lid and now I'm gonna do that one with the same brush, just in my outer corner. Just like a little. I usually only do makeup when I'm going like out, out. I don't even really do it when I'm like doing a normal date night. I love this shade though, it's pretty, it's kind of Valentine's-y. And I'm trying not to put like anything really in my inner corner until the end. Okay, I'm gonna go back into that shade, just get a little bit and then kind of blend them. I like, it looks pretty. Okay, so now I couldn't decide between that one right there. I think I'm digging the Charmer shade right here. It's like a gold, but I can't, oh yeah. Let's see. But I can't, it's choppy kinda. I can't really tell. It's like, 
let's see if I can like put some on my finger. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do like a gold from the first palette that I used. Don't love that palette. So we're gonna go with that shade right there. I don't know if you can tell, it's like a goldy. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. And then I'm just gonna put that in my inner Just like a little, super pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna use the like itty bittiest amount of that, like that. And I'm gonna barely put it right there. Barely. Like a little. Don't worry, my children are not dying. <laughs> Hunter loves to do that. So now I'm gonna grab my powder brush and dust away my under eye. And I'm gonna get the rest of the powder that's in the lid. And then I'm just gonna powder the rest of my face just to set it. If you guys know, I don't add tons of product to my nose. So. Okay. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna do my eyebrows and then we'll finish the eyes up. Okay, still freaking myself out because I feel really pale. Finished my eyebrows, but I'm not gonna set them until I'm done bronzing my face up. And I can't decide on if I want like a glowy bronze or just like my NARS Laguna, or if this is gonna be dark enough. I think I'm gonna go with the NARS Laguna and just bronze I don't ever contour anymore because I feel like the bronzing really just like hits the points of contour so this is the yeah the shade is called Laguna so love this I use it all the time sometimes I don't during the summer because I feel like it's not dark enough for me I mean I'm in Hawaii so it's basically summer all the time but Sometimes I just need a darker bronzer. I'm not done with the eyes. I'm also gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. I'm thinking, I don't know. I can't decide on if I wanna keep it like a light and airy look. Also, tons of bronzer to my nose, always. I love having a nose that looks like it got a little bit of sun. This is why I didn't set my eyebrows cause I usually mess them up a little bit when I go in and add my bronzer i'm gonna go in with my anastasia brow not my brow my contour kit and add a little bit of these two shades right there just to darken it up a little bit more and then i usually grab a little bit of hairspray or gel and then i set my eyebrows up so i'll go do that off camera but after i bronze i'm going to quickly add blush i've just been using this laura geller new york in the shade baked blush and brighten it's got a little bit of shimmer i don't feel like it's too pink my nose my forehead and then I'm gonna grab my powder brush and then just kind of go underneath everything make sure it's all blended and then I'll be right back I'm gonna set my brows and then we'll finish the eyes and highlighter and my hair it looks crazy so okay I was going to add eyeliner but I 
think I want to keep it a little bit lighter on the eyes because my lashes are so, you'll see there, I've got the glue setting on them. They're pretty crazy. So I'm just going to put a little bit of mascara on because my lashes are so crazy, but my lashes are blonde. These, my own. And if I don't put mascara on, then they show through underneath in the sun and it looks funny. So just put a little bit, I don't like make it perfect or anything. So there's a little bit. And now I'm gonna grab my tweezers and hopefully they are ready. I'm snagging them. Got the big caterpillars. Actually, yeah, let's start with, well, let's do the other side first. They're big, but I feel like I'm in the mood to wear big lashes today. Definitely don't need eyeliner if you're gonna wear these lashes. Boom. I'll show you an up close of what my lashes look like with these. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what they look like up close. They're so pretty, they're still drying. Super pretty. I was gonna line my lips with this Jordana. But I think I wanna just do my, my MAC lipstick, my OG that I always go with and then put gloss on top. My OG lipstick, this is the Bossom Friend. I think that's what I wanna go with. I always just love me a nude lip. Like that's my, my go-to, but I do like to line my lips with that Jordana sometimes. I think I'm just gonna do this. I feel like I need a little bit of that. Yeah. Just a little. Okay, then I'm gonna put a little bit of this gloss of Revlon. This is super lustrous gloss in the shade Snow Pink. So I'm just gonna put a little. In the middle. And what else am I gonna do? Um, I already added this at the beginning. So I didn't want to go too heavy on the highlighter. So what I did was I just grabbed my highlighting brush that already had product on it from Forever Go. And I just went through and did a little bit of that. So. BRB and I'll have my hair all completed. But this is the makeup. So BRB and I'm ready, finally after many interruptions of the children. I'm all done. Hopefully I'll feel a little bit better today, but I just wanted to do some glam. I haven't done that in a long time. So I'll probably end up putting my swimsuit on and laying out in the backyard. And that will be my day of staying home in full glam. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.